Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into something really interesting for all the Windows enthusiasts out there. Um, if you've ever felt like your PC is just too slow to handle the full version of Windows 11, well, you're in luck. We're talking about Nano 11, a lightweight variant of Windows 11 24H2, promising a snappier experience, much like Atlas OS and Tiny 11. So, let's get started. All right, so towards the end of last month, Microsoft released the official system requirements for Windows 11 2024 LTSC. Interestingly, it has optional requirements for TPM 2.0 and Secure Boot. These are mandatory for the Home and Pro editions, but not for LTSC, which is quite a twist, right? Speaking of Home and Pro editions, Microsoft is making sure that the minimum system requirements for the upcoming version 24H2 on Windows 11 are set. This means, um, they're making sure devices are appropriately certified as eligible or not. The same process is happening for Server 2025. While not much is expected to change, very old CPUs won't be able to bypass these requirements anymore. So, if you're using an old processor, this might be the end of the road for you with these updates. Now, let's be real. Even if your entry-level processor is officially eligible, it can still have a hard time keeping up with the full version of Windows 11. This is where lightweight variants come in. People often look for these, or even switch over to Linux for a smoother experience on older hardware. Today, we're focusing on Nano 11, released by tech enthusiast Bob Pony. Bob Pony released Nano 11 based on Enterprise 24H2, and the cool thing is that it's about half the size of the official Windows 11 installation from Microsoft. That's a huge reduction. This is mainly because Nano 11 removes Edge and much of the WinSXS folder. Now, if you're wondering, WinSXS, or Windows Side-by-Side, -side, is where Windows stores multiple versions of system files. This helps with compatibility and stability during updates or other services. However, there's a catch. Nano 11 also removes Windows Defender, so you'll need to be cautious. It's perhaps best to avoid using Nano 11 on systems that store valuable data, given the absence of built-in security. Always have some alternative antivirus solution in place if you're going down this route. Nano 11 is, uh, quite similar to other utilities like Tiny 11 and Atlas OS. These versions also promise a lighter, faster Windows experience, but come with their own sets of caveats. Whether it's missing features or reduced security, there's always a trade-off to consider. So, should you give Nano 11 a try? If you're running older hardware or just want a more streamlined version of Windows without all the bloat, it could be worth exploring. Just remember to keep security in mind and maybe try it out on a secondary machine before making it your main OS. To get Nano 11, you'll need to follow the steps outlined by Bob Pony. It's, um, pretty straightforward if you're comfortable with installing custom operating systems. Just be sure to back up your data first. And that's it for today's video. If you found this information useful, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any future updates. Let me know in the comments if you plan to try out Nano 11 or if you've had any experiences with other lightweight Windows versions. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.